On April 18, 1942, the USS Hornet CV-8, her sister ship, USS Enterprise CV-6, and 14 other ships sailed in Task Force 16, assigned to bomb the Japanese mainland less than six months after Pearl Harbor. The Hornet carried 16 stripped-down Army Air Force B-25 Mitchell bombers. At 0825, some 625 miles from Japan, Lieutenant Colonel James H. Jimmy Doolittle led his team off the Hornet's flight deck. The rest, known as the Doolittle Raid, is history. Back in 2012, I built the Hornet and Doolittle's B-25 to commemorate the 70th anniversary of this historic event. And this being April of 2020, I thought it a good time to do this video. I built the Tamiya Kit 77510 1-700 scale USS Hornet CV-8. This waterline kit represents the Hornet as she appeared during the Doolittle Raid with 16 B-25 bombers rather than Navy fighters. Typical for Tamiya kits, the parts were clean with no flash, fit together well, and provided a nicely detailed rendition of the subject. To add that last bit of detail, I used the White Ensign Models PE755 1-700 USS Hornet slash Enterprise photo etch detail set. It provided various railings and ladders, nets and platforms such as the LSO platform, the main deck crane and other structures, radars, antennas and yard arms, and an array of defensive and anti-aircraft armament, as well as the B-25 bomber fittings like propellers and landing gear. While I basically built the kit out of the box as per instructions, I substituted and supplemented various kit parts with photo etch parts. I marked out on the instruction sheet what parts would be replaced by PE parts. First I built the hull, adding PE details around it, then the deck, again with the appropriate PE around it, and finally the deck top subassemblies, adding PE enhancements such as railing and antenna. Here's how the island area turned out with all the photo etch detail added. The instruction sheet provides a black and white painting diagram portraying only one side of the ship. This was an issue as the Hornet wore a Measure 12 camouflage paint scheme with a unique pattern on each side. I referenced the Squadron in Action Warships No. 5. I also referenced navsource.org and maritimequest.com which have lots of photos of the ship in this mission configuration. I found references for the Measure 12 paint scheme converted into the Tester Model Master enamel paint colors listed here. My internet search found this image, which I verified was fairly accurate. So I sized both sides on my computer, then cut them out, traced those to masking tape, then cut the tape to mask the hull. On the flight deck, I used two sizes of white stripe decal for the deck launch stripes, unique to this mission. Next, I painted the B-25s white underneath and flat army olives on top. I simulated the canopy, nose, gun turret, and tail gunner glass with silver paint and added black to the wing and tail leading edges. I laid down the kit-provided Army Air Force insignia decals, then small rectangles of yellow stripe decal to simulate the numbers on the tails. I attached and hand-painted the PE landing gear and doors and propellers. Since this is a waterline kit, starting with a Pine Hobby base, I applied an ocean water technique I learned from an article in the November 04 Fine Scale Modeler. Basically, it's painted aluminum foil under several coats of Mod Podge, then topping and accenting the waves with acrylic gel tinted with white acrylic paint, attaching the ship, then more tinted acrylic gel up the sides. Next, I positioned the B-25s on the deck. Gluing just the rear two tires, I positioned Jimmy Doolittle's lead bomber toward the bow just about to leave the deck. As per the Maritime Quest reference photos, I attached the remaining 15 planes in their ready positions at the rear of the deck, with the next plane turning toward the launch lines. That completed the build of the USS Hornet CV-8 circa April 1942. I 
the 1 to 72 scale testers Italieri kit 861 Mitchell B25B. One of the kit's two build options is Doolittle's lead bomber. Another very nice kit, I built the plane basically out of the box as per instructions. I used bare metal foil to do the extensive masking on the canopy, nose, gun turret, and tail gunner position. I airbrushed the bottom neutral gray, the mixed proportions provided in the instructions. Then I masked this per references and airbrushed the upper surfaces flat army olive. Next I applied a coat of future floor wax and laid down the prop warning, insignia, and tail number decals. Then I masked and attached the gear doors, antenna, tail, and turret gun positions and propellers. Finally, I applied a panel line wash and weathering like soot and grime trails from the engine exhausts. I wanted to display the 1-72 to plane as it appeared on the Hornet's deck. I contacted 3-Wired Design and requested they add the launch stripes to their standard World War II flight deck card. I then made a base for that deck card out of sheet styrene painted to match the hull. Here's the completed plane on her base. the models today on their shelf in my glass case away from that pesky dust. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be putting out another of my previous builds soon. In the meantime, see my other model build videos at the Mighty JJK YouTube channel. Thanks.